In this video, I want to show you some basics about F5's API documentation. I'll show you how to find it, what kinds of docs you'll find there, and then I'll demonstrate making a simple API call. Using this call, you can get the data that Big IQ uses to display the health for an application service. The API call returns the data that creates the application services dashboard but in JSON format. All of our content about Big IQ API is on clouddocs.f5.com. There's an easy, if maybe not so obvious way, to get to the content right here in the upper corner of the Big IQ user interface. This little link here, it brings up a menu of external resources. Then, just click View the F5 Big IQ API documentation. There you go. For new Big IQ API users, a quick scan of these lists is a fast way to see the docs that are available. Now, for a closer look at an API workflow, I can click this link. For each workflow, I can use this nav pane to find an example that matches what I want to do. To see the complete reference detail for a Big IQ API, you need this link back on the main page. We'll take a much closer look at some of these pages shortly. But as you can see, you navigate the reference pages pretty much like you do the workflow pages. First, let me show you that dashboard full of data that I mentioned a minute ago. Here's the application's dashboard I see when I log in as the application owner. Looks like there's some issues with this application. I'll drill down a bit to see what's going on. Hmm, Seattle is showing as critical. When I open the Application Services dashboard, I can see a lot of statistics and two active alerts. Probably exactly what I need to know to resolve this. But how can I get the data that Big IQ used to create this dashboard? Well, all I need to do is make a couple of API calls. One to authenticate myself, and the other to retrieve the data. I'll demo how to do this using the F5 API reference content, together with an API tool called Postman. First, I need to authenticate. So I'll use the search feature to look for the correct API. My Big IQ is running version 7.1.0, so I choose that version and then look for the keyword auth. For this demo, I've already set up the API calls I'll need. This one authenticates me. The next one will give me a health check of the Seattle application service. Here's that first call. As you can see, I've used the details from the reference page to put together the call. First, there's the environment variable that identifies my Big IQ. Then, I use the endpoint name and the parameters it requires to submit a post. When I submit the post, the API responds by creating the auth token that the Big IQ needs before it can execute the health check API. Now let's take a look at that second API call. I switch back to Cloud Docs and search for HTTP application service summary in the 7.1 APIs. Here's the API we're looking for. Again, it gives me the endpoint name along with the parameters to use. So I switch back to Postman and select the service summary request that I set up for the Seattle app service. Just like the auth request, this one uses my Big IQ environmental variable and the API endpoint, but this one also needed the name of the specific application service. When I send that request, the API returns all the data for this app service. And look, here are those two alerts we saw along with all of the performance stats for this app service. You can now do what you will with this data. Maybe use it for further troubleshooting, or perhaps as part of the body for an API call that will correct the situation. It just depends on what you want to do. Thanks for viewing this video. We hope you found it helpful. For additional information on this topic, refer to the Ask F5 article and video, Tips for Searching Ask F5 and Finding Product Documentation.